Today in the news, the city manager announces the new city office and police department staffing changes. A man gets 18 months in prison for threatening to kill the president. And retail to go is being offered as Texas eases virus-related rules. Today is April 28, 2020, and this is Dallas Weekly News. Hello, I'm your host Patrick Washington and this is Dallas Weekly News. Dallas City Manager T.C. Broadnax announced the creation of the Office of Integrated Public Safety Solutions and the transfer of Executive Assistant Police Chief David Pews to a new position as the inaugural Integrated Public Safety Solutions Officer Effective April 29, 2020. The OIPSS will work with various city departments and out outside agencies to mitigate circumstances that promote, encourage, or contribute to violent criminal activity within identified high-risk areas of the city. The goal of the OIPSS is not only to reduce crime, but also improve quality of life and create a sense of order in communities in Dallas. Additionally, the office will support the Dallas Police Department through in-depth crime analysis and risk terrain modeling. Risk terrain modeling is a method that uses geographic information system techniques to explore the relationship between crime and the spatial features that influence and encourage criminal activity. OIPSS will be led by David Pews, who is currently serving as Executive Assistant Chief of Police for the Dallas Police Department. Pews is a 29-year veteran of DPD and previously served as the Interim Chief of Police in Dallas from October 2016 to September 2017. OIPSS will conduct field assessments in high-risk areas to develop strategic intervention. This may include law enforcement administration, inspections and in enforcement infrastructure enhancement or repair, evaluation of current zoning, permits, or business licenses. The success of OIPSS will be conveyed through progress tracking tools and dashboards. A 36-year-old Texan man has been sentenced to 18 months in federal prison for threatening to assassinate President Donald Trump, prosecutors have said. Michael Gedlu was sentenced Friday, according to a statement from the U.S. Attorney Aaron Neely Cox's office in Dallas. He pled guilty in December. According to plea documents, Gedlu admitted to threatening President Trump's life on social media, stating on YouTube, I am waiting for Donald Trump to visit Dallas before I attempt to assassinate him. During court proceedings, prosecutors said that on May 31, 2018, Gedlu was observed across the street from Dallas's Adolphus Hotel just 30 minutes before Trump arrived there for a fundraiser. Dallas police officers noticed Gedlu holding a Kill Trump sign and detained him as he screamed, Kill the President. Prosecutors said the U.S. Secret Service conducted the investigation with the assistance of Dallas police. As Texas eases restrictions put into place to fight the coronavirus pandemic, one clothing store owner said Saturday the most of her customers so far are sticking to having orders shipped even though the retail to go is now allowed. Allison Scott, who allowed who along with parents own a franchise of a clothing store called Apricot Lane in Dallas, said though, that, though she thinks the to-go offering does provide some happiness to those who are just itching to get out somewhere. Around the world, countries are taking cautious steps toward easing lockdowns imposed amid the pandemic. As of Friday, Texas Governor Greg Abbott allowed retailers to sell items for curbside pickup. Also this week, he reopened state parks and is allowing doctors to perform non-essential non surgeries but appointments at salons and dine-in restaurant services, for instance, are still not allowed. At Galleria Dallas, the shopping mall where Scott's Apricot Lane store is located, shoppers can now pull up and their purchases are placed in their vehicle. Scott said that on Friday they, look f they took five orders down to customers and none on Saturday. She said that as much as she'd like to see things return to the way they were and people be allowed to shop in person again, she thinks it's too risky health-wise right now. With the opening Friday of Retail to Go and a handful of other businesses around the state reopened even though they weren't supposed to. Those include a hair salon in Dallas that got a citation for opening to give haircuts and do nails. Texas has reported 623 deaths and about 24,000 overall cases of COVID-19, the disease caused by coronavirus. The number of infections is likely much higher because many people have not been tested and studies suggest people can be infected and not feel sick. For, more, for most people, the coronavirus causes mild or moderate symptoms, such as fever and cough, that clear up in two to three weeks. For some, especially older adults, some people with health, existing health problems, it can cause severe illness, including pneumonia. For more information, you can follow Dallas Weekly on DallasWeekly.com and follow our social media on Facebook, uh, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And as always, I'm your host, Patrick Washington. Please stay home and stay safe, and we will see you tomorrow.